Textures and patterns are an essential element of any design project, and actually creating them is a pretty difficult task. But with the Midjourney AI Image Generator, you can easily generate beautiful, high quality textures and patterns in just a few simple steps. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use Midjourney AI Image Generator to create seamless textures and patterns for your designs. With this knowledge, you can create a vast array of digital artwork for any craft application. First off, if you don't know how to use Midjourney, then check out this video up here. It'll help you get a basic understanding of the program. But if you already know what's up, then let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Head over into the Midjourney server or go into the Midjourney bot direct messages. By default, Midjourney is set to version 4 right now, but if you want to be able to create seamless textures and patterns, you need to switch it over to version 5. At the bottom, type slash settings, press enter. Change it from MJ version 4 or Midjourney version 4 over to Midjourney version 5. And you can dismiss the message. We're going to be using the tile parameter and that's only available in version 5. You can really create a pattern or a texture of anything that you want, but for now, let's try to do something like grass. Type in slash imagine space grass space dash dash tile space dash dash AR for aspect ratio. And let's do one to one so it's a square and then press enter. Not only did Midjourney create four different images for us to choose from, but each one of these is completely seamless and tileable. In my opinion, a lot of these are very cartoony, and I want to try to get away from that a little bit more and create something that looks more realistic. So this time I'm going to type slash imagine space realistic grass space dash dash tile space dash dash AR for aspect ratio space one to one. Again, this will create a seamless tileable texture, and it will make the aspect ratio 1 to 1, which is a square. As you can see with these, it's a little bit more realistic looking. These are really zoomed in. So if we take one of these images, upscale it, and then bring it in a Photoshop, we can then start to see how it's a seamless texture. For this image grid, I like the bottom left one. So I'm going to go over to Upscale 3. After it's done upscaling, I'm going to click the image, right click, and do Save Image. Now I'm going to hop over into Photoshop, go to Open, select the image that we downloaded. Now that we have our image in Photoshop, let's unlock it in the Layers panel by clicking this padlock icon. Go up to Image, Canvas Size, change it to Percent, and change the Width and the Height Percent to 300. and then click OK. Hold Alt and Shift, click your image and drag upwards, and do this to fill in the spaces. And now you can see as we zoom out, some images do have a slight seam to them, but as you zoom out, it's harder and harder to tell. If it does have somewhat of a pattern that you don't really like, head over to the Spot Healing Brush, make your brush larger by holding Alt, right-clicking, and then dragging to the right. Go over into your Layers panel, select all of the layers, hold Control, and press E to combine them into one. Hover over the image with your Spot Healing Brush, and click and drag over the areas that you feel like don't really line up too well. This helps it to become a little bit more seamless and you wanna do this after you have your texture to the size that you want. From here, you can do file, save a copy, and then save it out as a JPEG or PNG, um, whichever you prefer. Sometimes getting Midjourney to create a texture that you like is pretty difficult. Going to Google and typing in the image search for something that you're looking for. For instance, I found it very difficult to find a hardwood floor that has straight planks. So I'm gonna type in hardwood floor press enter. Actually, let's add texture onto that to make it a little bit more specific. Find one that you like. I'm going to right click it and select copy image address. Head back over into discord and type slash imagine paste the image URL into there 
which will link the image from the internet that we just found. Press space. I'm going to do hard wood flooring or floor. Type in texture as well. Space dash dash tile. So it's a tileable image dash dash AR space one to one so that it's square ratio. Then press enter. Before, when I tried to run a prompt that was a hardwood floor, it would give me patterns such as this. This is possible to do with hardwood floor, although it's not standard. It's not what I was looking for, let's say, let's put it that way. And then when I gave it an image URL or some type of inspiration that I found off the internet, it was able to create something more along the lines of what I wanted, which is this output here. Two of them I can't really use, but the top left and the bottom right are definitely two textures or patterns that I could use in like a rendering image or some type of design project. Over there are two videos that I think you'll really enjoy. And if you like the video, please like the video. Subscribe down below if you want to see future content just like this. Right beside me are a list of patrons. If you sign up to be a patron, you get a lot of great architecture related benefits and your name gets featured at the end of the video like these amazing people right here.